What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be revisiting our weathering series. A little while ago we took my first lightsaber which is a super basic design and we morphed it into something more. It was sort of like a prop weathering transformation type of video. It's, it's just a lot of fun to to make something bigger than it already is. It's really cool seeing something go from simple to extraordinary. And I thought, why not just do a lightsaber? Why don't we branch out and do something different? Growing up, I had these Ruby's orange blasters. I had Padme's, I had Han Solo's, don't know where they went. I went on Amazon and I found a Han Solo blaster. This is Han Solo's DL44 blaster. As you can tell, it's a kid's costume accessory. It looks really cheap. It's orange and white. When I saw this on Amazon, I was like, we can make this into something better. Today, we're going to be taking apart this entire blaster, spray painting it, weathering it, trying to make it look as accurate to the movie as possible. So I've gone in, I've done my research, I've looked at every single scratch mark, every single scuff, every single paint look to it. I'm going to try to replicate the real blaster as much as I possibly can. So let's get into it. Let's get into what we need to make this. So of course the first thing we'll need is the Han Solo blaster from Ruby's Costume Company. I'm going to leave an Amazon link down below if you'd like to get one. This thing was approximately like 10 or $11 excluding tax. The next thing you'll need is a protective surface. This is my Cricut board. Um, I don't have a Cricut, but it looked cool. Next, we have two things of spray paint. We have a flat black spray paint and we have a crystal clear enamel. Along with the spray paints, um, we have a bunch of different paints we're going to be using today. These two are from Testers and we have their silver. Uh, these are both shiny enamel, I believe, except for this one. I think this is flat, but we have a silver and we have a brown. No fancy names over here. So those are kind of the main paints we'll need for this. I also have some extra paints. We have some FX paints. Typically they're for flexible objects, but these worked fine for my uh, lightsaber. So we're gonna use these two. So these will just be needed for like extra weathering. We'll need some masking tape to cover parts of the blaster that we won't wanna spray paint and various sanding sponges and sandpaper. Nothing too abrasive, but enough to the point where the paint will stick. We of course have paint brushes. We have an X-Acto knife and we have whatever this is, but I found it in my room and uh, we're gonna use it for like some scuffing up and stuff like that. So that's all you will need. The first thing we need to do is open up the package, obviously. So these two parts just pry off really easily. So as you can tell, the top of this doesn't look very accurate. So we're going to pry off this little piece and kind of poke out as many of these holes as we possibly can. It should just pop right off. So now, it's completely hollow. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the X-Acto knife and kind of putting a little hole in it and then using this tool to kind of open up the hole a little bit more. Oh my God, update, update. I went into my garage and I found my Dremel tool. I've never used a Dremel before, but we're gonna figure it out. I don't know how to use this. Pause, pause. First time using a Dremel tool, kind of nervous. It's ready, it's game time. Now I'm taking this abrasive sponge and kind of going around the top of it so there aren't those little sharp pieces. And going on the inside as much as possible as well. Now it looks like this part of the blaster is done. Now that the gun is prepped for spray paint, we are going to take the masking tape and cover up all of the areas we don't want to spray paint. And this part doesn't really matter. We're gonna put this back over it eventually anyways, but now we are going to go outside and spray paint it. So 
So while the blaster is drying, I'm going to be taking these little handles. We're gonna be painting them with this testers brown paint. I've never used testers before, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, so I, I didn't take into account the fact that enamel paint would take forever to dry. We're back. The blaster has officially been fully spray painted. This is what it's looking like. There are a couple parts that are orange that I missed, but they're gonna be covered up later on. But I really like how it's how it's turning out. This part, we don't need to be worried about too much because we're going to be painting it silver. Hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be finished, but we're gonna use this FX metallic paint to do this part. Along with the outside, don't forget to paint the inside because the inside will look orange. I have inhaled so much paint tonight. I think I'm dying. For this barrel part, I'm kind of just dry brushing on the silver so it's not too like, we still wanna make it look not super clean if that makes sense. But we wanna cover as much orange as we possibly can. All right, so that is the first coat of the silver on the barrel. The rest of the blaster is very flat right now. It looks very flat. So we're going to dry brush all of the edges of the blaster. This is our first go around with the weathering. It's looking pretty nice. I'm really satisfied with it. Of course, there are some orange parts and some parts that I'm gonna go back over with the black. These parts that are still drying are going to go here. And we're gonna do a bit more um, darkening up of this part and some more, some more stuff. We'll see, we'll see. I have been inhaling a lot of paint fumes. <laughs> I'm gonna break down this video to two days. This is what we've gotten done with the blaster. We have some weathering on the sides. Definitely not where I want it to be currently, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And I'm happy with the progress we made on day one. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. We also have these pieces that are currently drying with enamel. It's gonna take a couple hours to dry, so I wouldn't be able to finish it tonight anyways. So the next time I see you guys, it'll be tomorrow. Bye guys! Welcome to day two of the Han Solo blaster. These pieces are officially dry. They're still a little orange peeking through, but we're going to to work on that today. In order to cover up the orange, I am not taking black paint. And we're going to be using the Silver Testers model enamel paint. I think for today, we're going to get a up angle shot, kind of looking down on the work and go from there.
We made a giant mess. <laughs> we made a big mess. The feeling you get after working on a important project that you're passionate about and being happy with the result, it's seriously one of the best feelings in the world. Here is the finished blaster. Han Solo is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. He's always been one of my favorites. And and having a piece of, like a collectible that means a lot, a lot to me is really, really exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming along with me on this journey of making our DL44 blaster pistol. I seriously couldn't be more happy with the result and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is our second video to our weathering and prop making series. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I enjoy making them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, night, wherever you are, and may the force be with you.